Hello again, folks. It's Bumpa here. I'm going to start this video out here on our street for a reason. Nice, pleasant neighborhood. Lots of neighbors. Right in the middle of the city. Well, just in the outskirts of the city, but nice suburbs. And out here, you know, flat deck trailer, so on and so forth. Lots of raspberries, blackberries. Um, lots of apple trees and so on. You've seen the boat before, you've seen the garden. On the way into the garden, I'll show you a little detour here. Nice little surprise that we have growing in here amongst the flowers. Wasp nests, they're black and white. They're nasty. Leave them be for now. I'm going to try and put a plastic bag over them after dark when they settle down. There's one coming in now. Anyways, lots of raspberries and blackberries growing along the neighbor's fences here. We picked a cupful this morning. Going to be a lot more in the next few days. The reason I'm starting this video in the middle of the city is we can't grow a decent garden here. We do actually have a decent garden. Lots of hot peppers, lots of green tomatoes. Uh, the pumpkin and squash were attacked by the frost. A few plants survived, but they're not doing well. But this should be loaded full of bean plants. And it's not. And if you look right down here, you'll see one track. These were last night's tracks. I'll take it back here. There's some more that are... But the beans are all chewed to pieces. There's what's surviving. The ropes are broken. Uh, they've been raiding through the ropes. Um, I had more strands of rope up there, but they've broken them off and have just tried to retie them. You see, it's dry here and hot. There's a nice track there, nice track there. But the beans, we normally have a real good bean crop, but the last two or three years of the deer have been coming here. And they're in at those bean plants. You can see the fresh the crop last night. There's a huge suction tank right there. Part of the reason they're coming here is for the Mariosis pianosa or whatever it is, the devil's walking stick, those little flowers that are in there. The deer love them. And the deer come for that, but before that plant's ready. Oh yeah, they've eaten the tops off of some of my pepper plants. Um, they've eaten the top off of some of my tomato plants. Fresh tracks last night. They were in here. Don't look that fresh, but they're they're across here. And the bean plants. Tomatoes are doing quite well. This outside row is not going to do well. Um, next year I'm going to put a raised planter in here and screen it all in so I can do beans and stuff. But that's the reason for this video is just to prove that here you are in the middle of the city and the deer will attack your garden. More blackberries and raspberries, apple trees all in through here. Quiet neighborhood. You see the apples. This little tree here is going to be full this year. Branches are laid right down on top of the shed. There's some more hidden back in there. And uh, lots of blackberries and raspberries. There's actually a couple of good old grapevines back there, but the neighbor doesn't prune them. He doesn't really take care of that property very well back there. So, anyways, this is Bumpa out in the yards doing things.